Hi, my name is Jamie, and I'm a Research and Product Development Coordinator at Retrotech. Today we'll be discussing Fantastic Software, which is our new air leakage testing software used for large buildings and residential homes to test air leakage. You will be receiving an email when you purchase the system in, with Retrotech that will tell you how to download Fantastic. Once you have it downloaded, you will find a small icon on the desktop that looks like a fan. You can double click that to open the software, or you can go to your Start menu or your Windows menu, All Programs, Retrotech, and you'll see the same thing here as well. In addition to that, you'll see Fantastic Online Support, and you'll find release notes when we release a new version of Fantastic. You'll also see the DM2 USB device driver, which you'll have to download when you download the program, and all those instructions are located in the email that you receive. You'll also download manuals, and today we'll be concerning ourselves with the ASTM manual. So now we'll open Fantastic. The first time you open it, you'll see the Retrotech Fantastic copyright agreement, our software license agreement. Please read it through and make sure that you agree with it before clicking accept. Now this tells us that we have a demo version of Fantastic and that has, it has expired. So you can download Fantastic from the website and you'll have 30 days of a free trial and you'll have access to all of the features that Fantastic has to offer. Once those 30 days are up, you will see this message and you'll have to choose a protocol, which we'll discuss in a minute, and you will be able to use the software for free and it's called Fantastic Lite. So let's click OK and we're selecting a protocol. Today we're going to deal with the ASTM protocol, which is what is used most often in the US. Now if we wanted to open a new test, we could click New Test or File New. But let's see what some of the options are before you begin a test. So we can see that there's a whole list of protocols here. Each protocol is based on a standard from a different location or a different region in the world that has different uh, methods of collecting air leakage data. So for instance, the ASTM standard is based mainly in the United States and some parts of Canada as well. And it's based on collecting data between 10 and 60 pascals. The ATMA protocol, based in the UK, is another one. The CGSB protocol is based in Canada. The EN13829 protocol is the European norm based in Europe, but there are different protocols for different regions of Europe. And the US Army Corps protocol is based in the US as well, but it's based on large buildings, mainly. So each different protocol has a different default setting for how to collect the data and in what form to collect the data. So today, we're going to look at the ASTM protocol. Now when you receive your email, if you've purchased Fantastic, you will receive a license. And the license comes in the form of letters, numbers, and symbols. And we can copy and paste a license directly into the license window that you see here. So this is a typical license. It starts with start key, and it ends with end key. And you'll receive instructions in the email on how to do that. Basically, you just copy it from the email and paste it into the clipboard. If you don't have a license, like I said earlier, you can use the program for 30 days for free with all the features, and then you'll be asked to select a protocol that will be your only protocol that you can use, and you will get Fantastic Light with fewer features, but you can still use it for free. And once you put in a license, it'll say the company name or the name of the person that is licensed to, and you can put in your username and email as well. Now, Fantastic is offered in several different languages. When we click the drop-down box, you can see that there are many other languages. French, German, Swedish, Latvian, Norwegian, and Russian. We're also working currently on adding Spanish. So let's see if we select Swedish, click OK. And you notice that everything in the window is now in Swedish. Let's switch it back to English. You're now ready to take a look at the test sheet.